It was another violent weekend in Lexington. Seven people were shot in six shootings. Two shootings happened at the same intersection downtown just 24 hours apart. It's a concerning statistic for advocates against gun violence. One tells Chad Hedrick he's hopeful funding from the city can help curb the violence. Flashing lights spotted not once, but twice this weekend in the same downtown Lexington intersection. Lexington police say a man and a bystander were shot around 2.30 Saturday morning near the intersection of Short and Mill Streets. 24 hours later, another shooting in that same area where a man was taken to the hospital. It's putting advocates against violence on alert and pushing for change. Now's the time that we have to be kind of like revolutionary with it. There's no one right way. There's never been one right way. You know, we got to try whatever we can try. Logan Averett is the leader of youth advocacy group MADE. It stands for motivation all day, every day. He says for him, the solution to cut down on violence is programs for teens and young adults. I believe every program here understands that. We know we need more resources, you know, because the people that are boots on the ground, we always want to know how we can do more and how what we need to do more to help others. Just last week, Mayor Linda Gordon proposed using some of the remaining funding from the American Rescue Plan to address violence. It includes $350,000 over three years to support the Safety Net Violence Prevention Program. Mayor Gordon has also proposed increased funding for the One Lexington Violence Prevention Program and funds for bonuses for employees who worked the front lines during the pandemic including police. So I mean, if she's going to give out the resources to the programs, then I'm happy that's a blessing. A blessing that could steer others to put guns down and in turn save lives. Our key is to teach them that life is so precious that you know it's not worth putting yourself in a position to die because once they die, as we all know, there's no comeback from that. In Lexington, Chad Hedrick for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Police have made no arrests connected to the shootings.